And I will take turns staying with him, and hopefully we'll be able to get a handle on what's going on. Uh, he should be back Thursday, maybe Friday, the latest. Okay, thanks, Gene. What was that about? Just letting Mike's guidance counselor know what our plan is. Wait, our plan was that Mike was going to stay home from school for one day. Now, does he think he's staying home next week, too? I told him if he needed a few days that... Where is he now? He's in his room. Byron, wait. I, before you barrel in there... Why are we indulging him? Because I don't think punishing him any further right now is the answer. Okay, he, it, we know why he's acting out. He made that perfectly clear to me. No, listen, Ella, he did not break into a house because of you. Okay, he cannot blame his behavior on anyone but himself. I'm just saying, if you want him to open up and let us know what's going on, alienating him is probably not the best approach. Well, he's got to get back to school. I'm not sure he's there when he's there. I spoke to a few of his teachers, and he's, he's completely checked out. Well, then it is our job to get him to check back in. Mike, come on, open up. Why is this door locked? Come on, open the door. You sleeping? What? No. Are you not feeling well? Mike? Mike? I want you to come downstairs, all right? Your mother and I would like to talk to you. About? Uh, about everything. About why you broke into that house. Why you don't want to go to school. Why you're locking your door. Can you turn that light off? It's bugging me. We're, We're going to be having dinner soon. I'd, I'd like it if you'd come down and join us. The light? door. It has to stay unlocked. You know the rule. 